guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is going to be about the science festival i attended in zimbabwe and i will also talk about why i think we need such a science festival at the continent level so um the science festival i attended in zimbabwe was an uh science robotics and intellectual property conference that was meant for high school students uh, primary school students and young professionals to showcase their scientific projects. I was inspired to see students do all sorts of robotics projects, uh, programming, using different components that they found, using very limited resources. And uh, it's surprising considering how behind Africa is technologically. But we have smart students and I think we need to do this at Africa level to really build the next generation of um, innovative leaders on the continent. So the way the, science, the way the science festival works in Zimbabwe is that students who are part of uh, robotics and science clubs in different schools come together to exhibit their projects they've been working on, they've been working on throughout the year. So um, a few organizations and individuals uh, came up with this idea. What we have to do is in the whole country, try and raise the critical mass in uh, technology and knowledge of science and ability to conduct scientific experiments to develop new technology. So basically what is happening with this, uh, with this program is that we are setting up a robotic science and intellectual property clubs in primary and secondary schools around Zimbabwe. A lot of students work on projects every week in their respective schools and um, yeah they work as a team and also independently so one team that was very successful showcased their robot which can move forwards and backwards and uh, this is the team that performed the best in Zimbabwe and they got to represent Zimbabwe in Washington DC at first global competition and uh, they performed very well in the US too uh, they are also going to Mexico to represent Zimbabwe. For a design where we are supposed to pick solar panels to provide solar energy, which is more efficient and also user-friendly in terms of the environment. We are also supposed to be able to turn a turbine so that we can generate energy from the wind. And uh, there is also a combustion plant. So this robot is still underway. We have different components like these ones which we put together and built a robot just like the one they took last year. So this year we've just managed to put this frame which can move forward, backwards, but then we're still working on it. So as the Zimbabwe Robotics team, we appreciate innovative minds. We sit down and we come up with a bright idea. Then we implement it and we put it into action. So this as the framework of the 2018 competition we are still working on it and we are willing and hoping to produce more, something innovative and basically we are trying to mold the future of robotics in Zimbabwe. So we are going to be attending the competition as said in Mexico and hopefully we do our best. Uh, we also had a student who built a bank, an automated bank security system that runs completely on solar energy uh, the security system is able to dictate movement, uh, automatically lock doors, among other sophisticated uh, security functions. Another student uh, created a portable projector system that functions using only a smartphone and a box. He programmed the system and combined little components to make this function like a traditional screen projector. Another student built a water irrigation system that is meant to measure the moisture content in the soil and then uh, irrigate the crops. Uh, the system aims to improve accuracy and uh, efficiency in agriculture. That was another inspiring project. Another student also um, built an e-commerce website for agricultural producers to market their products internationally. So he hopes to, uh, to promote exports in Zimbabwe and to give uh, farmers access to resources. The website supports 
a lot of content including marketing videos and uh, he also has a list of resources that can be useful to uh, farmers and they can easily access those via his, via his website. Interesting to you guys, uh, it's basically a water system with uh, all of the instruments that you can find on a traditional weather uh, station. Uh, that is uh, your rain gauge, your barometer, thermometers, uh, your humidity sensors, and uh, we basically just digitize the whole weather station into one single unit like this. There were teams of younger students and they showcased a drone technology that they were working on. They were working on various uh, projects and they talked about their core values. They have core values that I think are very important. Core value number one, we are a team. Core value number two, we drew the right hand solution with the guidance from our coaches and mentors. Core value number three, we know our coaches and mentors don't have all the answers and we learn to work together. Oh, value number four. We honor the spirit of learning the competition. Oh, value number five. What we discover is more important than what we win. Oh, value number six. We share our experience together. Thank you. These clubs really build uh, the students' leadership skills, especially public speaking and teamwork and problem solving. And I think this is important to do at Africa level. Uh, for Africa, I think w this idea needs to be scaled up. It's a scalable idea. If we involve all African countries, it will be much, it will make the Science Festival much bigger with much more exhibitions. And definitely it will be more inspiring to high school students. And it will make science a very fun process to kids if they get to travel and meet students from other parts of uh, the continent and I think with so much political polarization around us science science is neutral and we can find common ground there we can set aside our differences and work together to innovate and I think our future really depends on this Africa needs such a thing how I don't know how we will be able to do it but a few selfless individuals and organizations can just come together and fund this idea. I really thought it's, it was beneficial to Zimbabwean students and I'm sure it will be much more beneficial if it's done at a bigger scale. So yeah, basically that's what I have for this video. See you in the next one. If you liked it, please like, comment, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye!